today, hopefully we'll be getting panels up on the roof. So I got my skidster over there with the platform on it. That'll get me a little less than uh, four feet from the top. And then um, the plan is to basically walk, just pick up one at a time. Um, we'll probably do four at a time or so. But uh, put them over on the platform, raise it up. I'll have someone in the skid steer doing that. But right now I'm just unboxing these. So I went ahead and cut the straps. And then, uh, see if I can do this without cutting myself. This razor has been tough on me the last couple of days. I chopped my finger was open pretty good. Bay Bay. Pretty cool. So on these, these holes right here are lined up. This is where they want your brackets to go through at on these two. And uh, the way I lined it up, you have about a two and a half inch spread here between these two um, for the ideal mounting locations. And I should meet that on both of them. Uh, I remember on a prior video when I was putting up the, uh, the racking that uh, the way the shingles ran, I had to narrow it down from 36 inches to 35. So between these two is 35 or 34 and then 30 and then 34, I believe. So it should line up uh, pretty close. And the top ones are the same way as the shingles are all off just a hair. I think that happened because these shingles are measured number five inches off uh, the overlap or the uh, exposure of the shingle. And it seems like if it were six inches, it would work okay. So I don't know if that's a manufacturer thing or installer thing or, or what it is, but they, um, because they were five inches, I think it threw everything off a little bit. But we'll get some of these loaded up and uh, see how well this works out. Oh, we tried to get up there. And although it gets up there, we need to have another person to help uh, lift them from the bobcat um, up onto the actual roof. And I figured it'd be easy just to bring the lift over here. Sydney's making sure we're all torqued down. So the specifications give it in torque inches. And uh, you need to take that divided by 12. So it says 2,500 was the torque, and there's no way you're getting those at 2,500. So you divide 2,500 by 12, you get roughly 20 pounds. So we're torquing all those to um, 20 pounds. Okay, I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. I can't really point a whole lot because I got one hand holding me up and the other hand holding the panel up. But so my wires here, my negatives on my left, my positives on my right. I went ahead and uncoiled the right one and ran it down to the bottom where I have a clip. Um, at first I was putting the clips on the outside, then it made more sense to turn that around to the inside so it holds the um, wire up under there more. Then when I cross over to the next panel, I'll put another clip in there that tucks it up inside. There's a hole down there which is going to be my marker to give me an idea of how far um, off of the panel to, uh, to put that clip. So I've got these three. So I've got these first three panels set up and I got the wire run down so we should be able to put up six or seven panels before I have to stretch that wire out some more. Um, so once Cindy is done torquing those, we will go ahead and get to placing this first one, uh, get it level and straight. And then once this one is level and straight, they all should just fall into place or at least this row will. And we'll have to level that one up there. And then uh, we should be good to go, I hope.
Okay, yesterday we got half of the panels up. Half of the ceiling down there. Actually, being up here, I think cleaning would be pretty easy. Get on this part of the roof and clean them down with a squeegee. Um, so I may end up, a lot of this before is out of my cupola here, putting a hose bib up there. May not be a bad idea. Um, so I went ahead and measured off this side to make sure I had enough room and I anticipated being a couple inches long and it looks like that's going to be correct so I'm glad I measured everything right because visually looking at it it seems like I'm going to be short but I'll be okay I'm by myself today so I'm trying a new strategy on how to get the panels up here I got the lift just a little bit below uh, the roof line so if they happen to lean forward they'll lean against the uh, guttering and not fall all the way down so that's my plan and then because I'm working from the opposite direction now the wires there on the west end all ran down to the center and you can see my ground wire um, heading down to my roof um, flashing there where it goes inside my weather head and I went ahead and ran my ground wire because the positive is on the east side negatives on the west side I should be positive on the west side negatives on the east side so I went ahead and pre-ran my, my negative wire and I zip-tied it down there because there's no way for me to work from that direction down to this direction and line up exactly where I need to be. So I need to start here and work down, which means I have to pre-run all my wires. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I did forgot my tape. I need my red tape because the next wire, that spool that's right down there, is going to be my positive side. So I need to run that from this first panel that's going to sit here and go ahead and run that down into my weather head and um, then do the next next two runs so I can basically technically pre-wire everything which may save a little bit of time. Um, I suppose I could have done it, we kind of did it on this one. We did the first panel, ran the positive wire, ran the lead all the way down to about somewhere in here and we just clipped them as we went. It's going to be basically the same thing. So um, a little bit windy today, but I don't think it's windy enough that's going to keep me from being able to get the panels up. But again, I'm, I'm by myself, so we'll see how it goes. This upper level one is really easy just because the uh, you know, angle isn't that big of a deal. It's easy to walk on or not you know, easy to get up here. The middle row yesterday was quite the pain, and then the bottom row was easy. So um, the middle one's just going to be the main challenge. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to go a lot slower because I'm going to have to do basically one panel. I lift one up at a time. Uh, I got three pounds on the lift, so that hopefully will speed things up. But before, Natalie and Barry were down below loading them, preloading them for us. So we'll see. UFO clips that clip into the Iron Ridge rail. On this side, the sun's not blinding us. So they clip in like that and then they twist and lock in, just like in my other video when I was talking about these bolts do the exact same thing. The problem, if you remember on the other bolts, I said that sometimes they'll get stuck not 100% of the way in there. The problem with this method is that I can't look in there and see it because I got a panel on each side. So I'm trying my best to make sure those are locked in and then uh, torquing them down to the uh, specifications. And, uh, these are the wire clips I have. These aren't the ones I wanted, but now that I'm used to using them, I guess it's not that bad. They can hold two wires in each clip. So underneath the bottom side, this wire you see running off there, I have it clipped to the bottom inside. So um, if you can imagine there's a lip 
this sits inside the panel and my wires are clipped up underneath they're up inside the, uh, the the panel and then they only have to drop down when they transition from one panel to the other uh, right here is my main lead of wires coming down going in my weather head so I've got these marked this is reds course positive so I got one two one one this is three one three two the way I have this set up this is array one the top one's array three what I'm working on now is array two so this row here would be 1-1, one, one. this is 1-2, two. that'd be 3-1, three, 3-2 three, up there. I'm sitting on 2-1 two, and this is 2-2 two, two running down. So that's how I'm trying to keep, keep track of these. And then of course I've got them taped together as far as this is array 1, this is array 3, this will be array 2, and I'm done with it. And then i got my ground wire, so i got to run that in there too. So, so far this 2-inch uh, conduit is doing just fine as far as taking the wires. I only have to get three more wires down there. I've got to get my positive and negative for uh, two or two one, and then I've got to put my ground wire in there. And um, that should be all the wires I need to get down through that that uh, conduit. And so far, it's working just fine. So I'm gonna head down and get three more panels, and then I also got to go inside and the wires I just ran for what would it be three two. I go inside and pull those through my uh, combiner box to get all those situated. And then uh, I'm moving along pretty good. Um, I've already got, I got eight, nine, I already put nine panels up this morning and I've only been up here for an hour and a half maybe. So it's flying pretty good. Yesterday I had you know the family helping me and my daughter up, up here helping me put the panels on. And I think that gave me enough time to kind of figure out uh, a good method to use when I'm doing it by myself. So when her and I were doing, we did, you know, three panels in a row up, starting at the top and working our way down. So this time I just started with uh, top panels and did the whole row. Now I'm doing the second row all the way across. I'll do the third row last. So the middle row is the biggest pain in the butt, but it seems to be. Um, I got one panel up, and I got seven more to go. So hopefully it'll go smoothly. Went ahead and changed my method a little bit. I said a little bit ago I was going to do this full row and then do this row, but um, I've got this two inch gap here. And we noticed yesterday as we started out, we had two inches. About in here, we were down to, uh, uh, we lost three eighths to a half. It was a half inch, I think. So we started widening it back out to get back to our two inches. So I figured if I did this full row, and then I come back and did this row, I may find out that the top one was off a little bit and then I wouldn't be able to correct it. So I got those two panels up, just put this one up. Um, this one actually covers all my leads coming down. So now they're all buttoned up underneath there. They are clipped and zip tied and all tucked up in there. You can see them coming down right there. Um, all going into my weather head. I have not ran the ground yet. I can pop this top off and run the ground there pretty easily. Up underneath is labeled all my wires. Went ahead and taped all of these and they do not touch there or the bottom. These are not touching the roof and they're not touching the top. So if there is any vibrations or anything like that, it's not going to, um, there shouldn't be any rubbing going on. Um, I still have to pin this up underneath there so that holds up so the leather, leather head works right but even up it's still not touching anything so on the final stretch now putting the panels up should be pretty easy i got a uh, six more up there seven more down here i've got one on the lift and down over there you can see them in the corner my last little pile and i'll be able to go inside and finish wiring everything up in there um, i'll wait to wait to hook the panels up until the sun goes down though so there's no uh, power going through them. Right now they're just sitting in there with taped ends 